Check this out. Plus one Terra Normal Blood Moon from Ursaluna. You do not live this hit, my friend. That's a one shot. This Pokemon's ridiculous. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be discussing Ursaluna Blood Moon now. I decided to wait a couple of days before doing the Ursaluna vid because, you know, minor spoilers for the DLC. However, it is Friday. I'd imagine a decent amount of people have gotten to play the DLC now. So, Ursaluna Blood Moon, hopefully you're not hearing about this for the first time. It is a very broken Pokemon on paper. Uh, and after doing some testing, there's like a solid chance that I take this thing to Peoria Regionals. I was lucky enough to get a zero speed, three attack IV one, so it's close enough. But yeah, um, it's going to be a real hassle to get. You need to reset for this thing. Make sure you save before you go into the woods and catch it because you really need to make sure you get zero speed on this guy to get the most out of it. But we're going to be doing a moveset guide on it. If you guys enjoy, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications because we're almost at 80,000 subscribers, which is almost at 100,000. Anyways, let's get into it. Tomorrow we'll be doing the Ursaluna Showcase, but uh, yeah, so Ursaluna Blood Moon, it is a ghost, or sorry, it is a normal and ground type. The leak said it was ghost, but it is a normal and ground type. Um, and funny enough, despite being built like a truck, this thing is a special attacker. It's a physical attack stat is only 70, which is just comical. Like that is, that is hilarious. How low of an attack stat it has, despite having those giant claws. Um, anyways, Freddy Fazbear here is going to be a very powerful special attacker, but the thing that it has at its disposal that sets it apart from basically everything else uh, is going to be one, it's a build, it's two things, but one, it's ability Mind's Eye, which allows for fighting normal uh, or for fighting normal moves to hit ghost types, and its accuracy can't be lowered, and you ignore evasion boost. So basically, no evasion, nothing, and also you have uh, Scrappy built into this thing. So you can actually hit a Fluttermane or a Golden Go with your Hyper Voices, or the next thing we're going to talk about, its exclusive move, Blood Moon. Now, Blood Moon is a special attacking move with 140 base power, but it has that mechanic that Tinkaton signature move of Gigaton Hammer has built in, where you can't use it twice in a row. Now, this is the second time in this gen we've had a move that you just can't use twice in a row, and I feel like that's going to be a trend going down the road. We might get like a third Pokemon with like, I don't know, a steel move that can't be used twice in a row. But this is really scary. 140 base power move coming off of 135 base special attack stat is something that nothing wants to switch in on. And with the stats that this thing has, 113 HP, 120 defense, 135 special attack, 65 special defense, you can build this thing to be pretty tanky and still hit really, really hard. So let's go ahead and get right into the first move set. This first move set is going to be your basic move set that I think a lot of people are going to be running in the ladder right now. And it's going to be like the, you know, Walmart grab and go sort of Ursaluna spread. Uh, you're going to have that 252 HP, 252 special attack with a quiet nature, four special defense and zero uh, speed IVs, zero attack IVs. That's going to allow you to function under Trick Room. The one thing about this Ursaluna that puts it at a disadvantage versus the other form of Ursaluna is going to be that speed stat. Now, the regular Ursaluna is mildly slower. It is 50 speed where you are 52, which means that while yes, you can probably calc this thing to tank a guts boosted facade because let's face it, it's Ursaluna. It's got 113 HP, 120 defense. Um, you are going to get outsped under Trick Room, so uh, you have to be careful with that. That is very concerning. Uh, another big weakness of this guy is going to be that it has that low special defense stat. So, you know, we need to keep that in mind going forward. But yeah, um, zero speed is important to make this guy work. Uh, this spread is just max HP for special defense for the general bulk. And you're going to be using a throat spray with blood moon, hyper voice, earth power and protect. And of course, the ability mind's eye, which is the only ability that this thing gets. And we're going to be using Terra Ghost. Now, this is a really useful um, Ursa Luna spread to lead off with, that Terra Ghost to make it so you're not going to be able to be faked out on lead. You're probably going to want to pair this with a Cresselia. I think that's the best partner for it right now, similar to the other Ursa Luna. Uh, in that turn one, you're going to be able to go for a Terra Ghost if you feel safe enough to do it, or if you you know don't need to, if there's no fake out user, you're fine. Uh, and that's going to allow you to safely get off your Hyper Voice while the Trick Room gets set up. And then on the following turn with Trick Room up, you're going to be at plus one special attack and you can spam your Hyper Voice at plus one, basically a choice specs boost. And you can alternate that with Blood Moon if you need to really take down something. The other day I was battling on stream with this thing and I think it was like an Iron Hands. No, no, no. It was a plus one special defense Terra Steel Kamoa. And I hit it with Blood Moon at plus one with Terra Normal. And that thing chunked. Oh my God. Had I helping handed, it would have just gone down. 
um or maybe i did helping hand i don't know point is you know this thing pairs really well with um with Cresselia. it's a very difficult pokemon to switch in on especially since you know the only things that are going to switch in on your normal moves are going to be rock types and steel types uh, nothing else can eat the hit because ghost types, while normally immune, are now taking neutral damage. It's a very scary Pokemon. Uh, this Pokemon also has access to Stab Earth Power, which is going to be your final move. That's mostly just going to be meant to hit those Steel types that would otherwise wall you out. Or if you are uncertain if Hyper Voice or Blood Moon will pick up the KO, Earth Power certainly will on most of those Pokemon. So that is extremely useful. Uh, you're basically Heatran's worst nightmare, but also Heatran's really scary into you because, once again, you're going to be investing heavily into your uh, special attack and HP in this set. Your special defense is somewhat neglected. You're kind of frail on that side. An assault vest could be something you could look into, but for uh, not for this move set. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, this is the one that I'm be using in the showcase. I think it's fine. I actually think I ended up going Terra Normal, uh, but Terra Ghost is what I recommend for most Ursalunas. Uh, next one though, if you want to go Terra Normal, we're gonna be checking out the Calm Mind Leftovers Terra Normal Tank set. Now this one I have some calcs written down for it because I didn't want to forget about it. Uh, anyways. This spread with 124 HP, 180 special defense, 196 special attack with a quiet nature, and uh, 4 defense, 0 speed IVs, 0 attack IVs as usual. Uh, your moveset is Hyper Voice, Calm Mind, Earth Power Protect, and your item is Leftovers, and your Terra Normal. Um, this is going to allow you to eat a Modest Moon Blast from Flutter, or a Choice Specs Modest Heat Wave from Chi Yu. On top of that, you can eat a Modest Specs Dark Pulse from Chi Yu. Uh, you eat a Modest Specs Fluttermane Moonblast. Uh, it's a 50% chance to KO you if uh, you are facing off against Timid Terra Fairy Moonblast. So keep that in mind. Uh, and this thing is calced basically just to make it so if you Terra Normal, it's a two hit KO on less bulky Fluttermane with your Hyper Voice. So what this guy's gonna wanna do is on that turn you go for Trick Room, you have a couple of options. You could protect, that is one of your options, but you could go for that Hyper Voice. Now, this thing sort of has an Iron Hands um, spread where we're really, really focusing on investing that special defense stat. Because if you know how Iron Hands plays, Iron Hands has that high HP stat and that low special defense, right? 154 HP, 68 special defense on Iron Hands. With the Assault Vest and a little bit of HP investment and a lot of special defense investment, it actually becomes really difficult to KO even on the special side, eating like Specs, Fluttermane, Moonblast like they're nothing. This Ursaluna has access to Leftovers Recovery, but you're going to be taking a turn to set up that Calm Mind, effectively giving you kind of an Assault Vest, but also a Choice Specs in the same turn. That's how you look at these uh, boosts. But yeah, um, paired with a Lunar Blessing Cresselia, uh, that's going to allow you to go for that Calm Mind. You're going to be able to recover HP with Lunar Blessing, helping hand your plus one Terra Normal, uh, cho not Choice Specs, your plus one Terra Normal Hyper Voices, and just deal a lot of damage to things. Uh, so yeah, Ursaluna, this set is also very scary. I might try it out in a showdown live sometime soon, uh, but it is a very powerful tool that you can use on Trick Room teams. I would actually recommend you pair Ursaluna with a few different Pokemon. Uh, Iron Hands is phenomenal as a Trick Room partner. I would say Amoongus is phenomenal for healing up this thing and also redirecting attacks on this Calm Mind spread. Like that's going to be super useful. You could even make a, you could make a case for Clefairy actually. Clefairy being a uh, support Pokemon with... Uh, Friend Guard, lowering the damage you take from, you know, any attack, uh, and also being able to heal you with Life Dew, or just follow me away attacks. So, like, that's another uh, powerful tool you have at your disposal. But yeah, the final moveset is just very basic. It is another basic spread. You can tell, like, I, I was like, here's the the first spread, I was like, here's the Walmart spread. The second spread, I'm like, mm, here is that, uh, I, I don't want to say, like, I don't know a fancy restaurant. Some fancy restaurant, like, that's that, that's that, like, the, the meal you get with, like, the little garnish on the on the uh, plate, you know, that's that's what you're looking at with the second spread with Calm Mind. This spread is like Taco Bell. Um, it's fine, you know, it'll do. But uh, it's a Life Orb spread. Okay, post editor interjecting here. Um, I have 244 HP instead of 252 in this one because that gives you a stat that uh, ends in nine being 219, which is optimal for Life Orb. Um, it tends to matter if you just end up taking like no damage for the whole game. It just it minimizes the way the game like rounds the number. So just keep that in mind. There's a reason I'm 244 HP here. The thing about this Ursaluna is you could run choice specs, but you don't want to run choice specs and uh, Blood Moon because every other turn you're going to struggle. So if you want to run a just immediate boost, you could go with a Life Orb. You could go with a 
uh, Silk Scarf, you could go with a couple of options, but I think Life Orb is pretty good just because it's the highest boost out of all of them and it allows you to click all of your moves instead of just normal moves. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna be running Earth Power, Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, and either Blood Moon or Terra Blast. And if you're going with Terra Blast, I'd recommend you go with Terra Grass just because it's going to allow you to avoid going to sleep from uh, Amoongus. It's going to allow you to avoid Rage Powders. And defensively, becoming a Grass type when you start off as a, uh, as a Ground type is pretty nice since you're gonna be resisting water moves now. Uh, and you just get to ignore like rage powders and stuff. It's just like it's a nice typing to have as a trick room Pokemon. Uh, there's a reason that Iron Hands tends to run this. But yeah, uh, those are my three move sets for Ursaluna. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a really quick battle with the first one. And it's probably not going to be Terra Ghost. It's probably going to be like Paranormal unless I happen to have Ghost Shards before I record that. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop over to the showcase. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do here. We're on the casual ladder because, you know, the ranked ladder does not allow Ursaluna yet. It's weird. It allows all of the non-legend, or it doesn't allow any of the um, non-legendary new Pokemon, but all of the legendary new Pokemon, your Fezzendipities, your Ogre Ponds, those are legal on the ranked ladder right now for some reason. So that's definitely a bug. So yeah, we'll just grab one really quick game on the casual ladder. Hopefully it's a decent team. Oh yeah, this is a team that we can test this against. Um, Ursaluna is going to be really difficult to position, but I think we can make this work. I am using Terra Normal on this, but I should have been Terra Ghost. I just didn't have the, I didn't have the shards to do it. I actually just finished the, uh, side quest that gets you that, um, I think it's called like the Glimmering Charm, but yeah, I just finished that. So now I have access to it. I think here we could do this. Um, I should always be able to get off my trick room if I lead off with the Iron Hands and the Cresselia. We'll bring you in the back, and there are two, well, there are three grass types, technically. Uh, it's a little scary. I want to bring my, <laughs> I want to bring my, um, Amoongus for, like, Spore and stuff, but they have a ton of switch-ins to that. They can Rage Powder a few things. I think we're just going to go Fluttermain, because endgame, if Trick Room ends, like, that's not a bad Pokemon. But, yeah. Now, like I said, the Ursaluna Showcase is going to be going up tomorrow. I, oh, look, we are both Ursaluna fans. <laughs> uh, it's going to be going up tomorrow, but uh, that's going to be like the edited version. Okay. So, I'm really curious to see um, what their plan is here for stopping the Trick Room. They could be... They, they could be like Terra Dark Knockoff, and that could really uh, put a damper on things, but... I think what I'm going to do here is just go for the fake out on the Meowscarada. Because at the very least, all we do is just trade a fake out. And I'll Trick Room. Oh, it looks like I'm just going to get my Trick Room off. Sick. They might have been going for the Wood Hammer. What is this? Okay, so that's, um, oh yeah, they're going for that knockoff. All right. So I'm a little bit concerned here. I think I'm just going to let one of these mons go down. I'm not sure which. I could also Volt Switch, but like that's a huge risk getting in my uh, Ursaluna. Uh, let me think. It might just be best to let one of these mons go down. So I'm going to go for the Wild Charge and the uh, Moonblast into this, uh, Urshifu, just because I should pick up a KO pretty easily there. Um, yeah, my, my concern is that like if they go for like a Wood Hammer and a Surging Strikes into the Iron Hands after I Volt Switch, then we just lose the Ursaluna and then the showcase is over because I have to try again. <laughs> like that's that's my main concern. But yeah, that's, that's going to be within Moonblast range. Uh, we got rid of one of their better checks to Ursaluna, being their fighting type. And hopefully we just lose our Cresselia here and get a free switch in. Go for the knockoff. I'm gonna lose my assault vest. Not great. I was really hoping to get that uh first or that Cresselia off the field. Do I volt switch? I think I just keep KOing things until I get the until I get the Ursa Luna in. And yeah, I mean like here I'm just gonna keep hitting things. Like I'm I'm really not concerned. I, I actually think that looking at the rest of their team. If I just get the Ursaluna like in like at the next turn, I'm still fine because 
Yeah, I just Terra Normal and like lose my my weakness. This is a really weird match. They're just I, I guys, I'm not I'm trying to get the Ursa Luna in. I swear I'm trying to get the Ursa Luna in. Alright, can you like wood hammer my crest? That'd be so sick. Just KO something. Thank you. Alright, it's 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 Freddy Fazbear time. And I think we still have two or three turns of Trick Room to work with. I think it's two. And that's too much for them to get around. Especially since they're not Assault Vest on that uh, Rillaboom. Alright. There's the Ogre Pawn. Oh yeah, it's so over for them. It's so Ogre. It's so Ogre. Alright. Uh, I can just tear normal here. And I am going to go for the Drain Punch on the Ogre Pawn. Because I'm more concerned with that thing's damage output. And do I want to... I kind of want a Blood Moon. Just to make sure I get this KO. I could Hyper Voice here. And then Hyper Voice... I think Terra Normal Hyper Voice into the uh, Drain Punch will always KO an Ogre Pond. I think we're fine. This will also allow me to activate my Throat Spray for the next turn. And if they protect the Ogre Pond this turn, it just drops the next turn because we're at plus one with Terra Normal. They go for the spiky shield. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to hit you very hard next turn. And this uh, this uh, Rillaboom shouldn't eat the hit very well either. Yeah, that does so much. This this is a ridiculous Pokemon, dude. So we activate our throat spray. There's no way we get one shot by a wood hammer because of our massive bulk. And I'm gonna click Blood Moon. Take a little bit of spiky shield. Is they go for earthquake? Hello, interesting. Um, I don't think they know how grassy terrain mechanics work, but beyond that, <laughs> yeah, it does nothing. All right, please don't forfeit. I want to click blood moon so bad. All right, who's ready to see the most ridiculous damage you can do in this game? Check this out. Here we go. He's gonna like, he's gonna try to live the hit. He's gonna he's gonna Terra here. Unfortunately, he's gonna be Terra Fire. So he's not living this hit. All right. <laughs> Check this out. Plus one, Terra Normal, Blood Moon from Ursaluna. You do not live this hit, my friend. That's a one shot. This Pokemon's ridiculous. And that's the game. All right. So yeah, um, I'm going to be using this team in the video that comes out tomorrow. I've already recorded it. This this team already goes insane. Um, it's a crazy team, dude. But yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, uh, and comment down below what Pokemon you want me to make a moveset guide on next. Uh, that will be dropping on Monday, I think. I don't know. I have to figure out what my schedule is for these moveset guides. But yeah, have a nice one. Bye.